Welcome back to Eastland English. St. John's is both the largest city and capital of Newfoundland and Labrador. It is named after John the Baptist, an important figure in the Christian Bible. So we are in the town, right? Yeah, this is downtown St. John's. There are many really, really old buildings right next to some fairly modern ones. It's quite pretty. What do you think about the traffic in this town? Um, there wasn't much before, however, right now, today, there's more traffic. There aren't many big wide open streets either. Most of the streets have only two lanes. One lane going one way and one lane going the other way, so... You have been an excellent driver so far! <laughs> Thank you so much. We're coming up to gravel and dust, so close your window. Oh, yeah! Right on the harbor now. This is the harbor, and these are fishing boats. They're also known as trawlers, but you see the fishing nets in the back of them. St. John's began as a seasonal fishing camp in the early 1500s, and over a hundred years later, the town of St. John's was permanently established. It has a rich and diverse history and is one of the oldest cities, if not the oldest city, in North America. Nowadays, Newfoundland and Labrador have more fishing boats than any other area in Canada. These boats fish for crab, lobster, cod, mackerel, and many other species of fish. Millions and millions of pounds of fish are processed here every year by over 700 fishing boats that dock here. An abundance of fish is the reason that Europeans came to Newfoundland so many years ago. For over 500 years, the port of St. John's has been an important center of the fishing industry. So. If you're a fan of medium-sized fishing vessels, St. John's Port may be the best place for you to visit. Notice the sophisticated radar equipment at the top of these boats' masts. This electronic equipment can warn sailors of severe weather approaching. The upside-down pot-shaped structures with mesh on them are used to catch lobster, much like we are going to eat tonight at the Mallard Cottage Lobster Boil. Where are we heading to? Our destination today is a place called Mallard's Cottage. What is so special over there? Lobster dinner! Oh! <laughs> We're going to have excellent seafood, including lobster. Sounds delicious, right? We'll show you soon. You ready? I'm ready. Going in for the great lobster boy. Right. What are you looking forward to most? Lobster, of course. The building used by Mallard Cottage Restaurant has been designated as a heritage building. It is located in Kittyville Village and was likely built between 1820 and 1840, making it one of the oldest residential buildings in St. John's. It has been operated as a restaurant since November of 2013 and is known for using local ingredients. It's about the time we booked the table for two at 5 p.m. Right now we are standing right in front of the restaurant and of course we are going to have lobsters. What else are we going to order? Well, the lucky thing with what we are doing tonight is that we don't have to order anything else. This is a tradition in the maritime provinces. It's called a lobster boil. And the lobster boil includes many, many other side dishes, but we don't have to order them. They have already set the menu and they'll just bring each dish to us individually. That sounds fantastic! Yes! I cannot wait anymore! Okay, let's go inside, right? Let's go inside! 
Mallard Cottage was rated the 22nd best restaurant in Canada in 2018. Lovely, thank you so much. So we are sitting there. So we've got our table and Beauty is setting up our other camera. We're waiting for our first course now. So what are we going to get then? We're going to get canapes and lobster bisque. Canapes are small one bite appetizers. And also oysters. The oysters may be raw. Aww. I prefer if they cook or fry them a little bit. We have our first course already. We have a fresh oyster. The little tart that UD is holding up, that's a lobster tart, lobster tail tart. And then this in this jar is a lobster bisque. Oh, it's really? a special I see. soup. Yum. <laughs> is it good? Yes. All right. Wow, warm wow. and warm. I don't know how to okay. eat it. Just enjoy. With a spoon. Mm. Oh, that is delicious. Deep and rich and wow. buttery. It's a little bit hot. A little bit ah, at the end. Mm -hmm. I see. I have mm -hmm. to test it now. It's, I think it's black pepper. Mm. Okay. Oh. Oh, that is so good. This right. is my first time oyster. Oh my god, I lost something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's it. I am doing this for you guys. I have never had one oyster in my life. Mm. Like good it? and good. Mm, yes. so yummy at all. It's a locally sourced wow. oyster. Oh my god. My first time oyster was amazing. Mm. The second one already is very light and fluffy. Oh, oh excellent. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. The mm. service here at this restaurant is phenomenal. They're very, very friendly. They don't mind the fact that we've set up cameras. Yes. We asked for a special table in the light so that we could share this whole it. event with you. And we got it. They had to swap people out, but they still gave us this table. Mm. 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 Everything is just splendid. I learned that word from a movie. <laughs> oh, it's a great way to learn English. <laughs> I'm so happy. Beautiful. This is a salt cod tartare, or as they sometimes call it, tartare. I have always pronounced it tartare. There are capers and onions cut together with minced salt cod. Cod is a specialty of Newfoundland. Uh, why haven't we started to have it yet? We're trying to show you the beauty of every plate, but the reason why we haven't started this one yet is because there's another dish that's supposed to come with this, and it's a big plate of steamed mussels. My We're favorite. To, yes. We're going to wait until we get the mussels, and then we'll dig in and share our experience with you. So actually, shall we start a little bit? You want to? Yes, okay. why not? Wait, we can't wait. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do we have to spread it on the bread? Yeah, okay, here we go. Wow, there's wow. so much here. Nice. Oh, wow. Thank, Thank you. you so much. The other dish has come. There's carrots and herbs in there as well. And we have, what is that one? Delicious homemade bread. Yudi was asking earlier how to eat the tartare. Uh, this is crostini, which is dried bread. Spread it on the dried uh -huh. bread. Ladies first. Okay. Uh, I'll fill the whole... We say ladies first, even though I am the only lady at this table. And a gentleman serves the lady first. Time to eat. All right, enjoy. Mm. Okay, so review on the salt mm. cod tartare. It's cold, fresh. I can taste the sea salt. Sour a little bit, I guess. Mmm, -hmm. mm, yum. Oh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Delicious, very salty because it's made from salt con. Amazing. Okay, time to try the mussels. Definitely, time and, to try And what the about this one? Uh, that bread I think we use to soak up the juice okay. from the mussels afterwards. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, while Yudi starts on her muscles, I'm going to take a piece of this fresh, homemade, freshly baked bread and spread some of this butter on it because I'm interested in seeing what's in the butter. Wow, that looks good. Right. I'm using my hands. Yeah, you're allowed. It's okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. For a lobster boil, you're allowed to use your hands. Right. And it's a more delicious eating food with your hands. All right, I'm okay, giving you one. a piece of this bread. Thank you. You're okay, welcome. let's me try. Oh, mm. mm. muscles are very juicy, sweet, which is perfect. Oh, that's oh, sweet. amazing. Mm. It is juicy, wow. sweet, packed full of flavor. You know, the one thing I don't know, Yudi, is how are we ever going to be able to eat lobster after <laughs> all of this? So much food here. I am on my second muscle. I am normally a slow eater, but today I am faster than him. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. This muscle, if you eat it in Thailand, we normally have seafood sauce next to it because it can increase the level of deliciousness of the muscle. But here in Canada, you don't need it. You have soup in here and the soup is fantastic. That really hits the spot. This is only our second dish. We still have one, two, three, four. Four dishes left. And we eat it all? Challenge expected. Okay, see you next dish. Our next dish. Ta-da! This is a cold lobster salad. The part of the lobster that they use is the claw. And the lobster claw is a very delicious part of the lobster. Very special. I'll show you these. How big is that? That's just one of them. We have two of them. Don't drop it. No. Look at how big that is. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, right. time to eat. Time to eat. What's the verdict? The texture is very firm. Delicious. <laughs> mm, many layers of flavor in here. Mm -hmm. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of onion. There's more black pepper to make it a little bit spicy. And that delicious, sweet taste of lobster meat. Oh, there's even more. Underneath. Yeah, Even right. more lobster. Mm. Oh, With a cream. Right, right, right. Mm -mm -mm. That he said there is a lemon cream underneath. Oh, okay. it's your turn now. Okay, right. lemon cream. It tastes kind of like a lemon cake. Oh, or lemon icing. It's okay. sweet. I'm looking forward to seeing the reaction. What do you think? It's different. Better take your claw before I eat it. <laughs> look, at that, look, look, at, look at him. I, I gave you. I, I don't remember it that's, that much. Is it mine? No, that's look at her. His. Look we at have that. proof. We have proof <laughs> on videotape. <laughs> we have proof. Really? Are you sure? This is mine. That's yours. Anyone remember I took that much? This is all I have left. Mm. Yum. Yum. See you next course. The main dish has finally arrived after eating so much delicious food up to this point. We are now presented with a beautiful lobster thermidor. And I have this one. <laughs> this is a half of a lobster that's been cut open and mixed with herbs and spices. But the size is quite big, my mm. idiot. Even though it's a half lobster, but it's equals one <laughs> It's lobster. a big one. Yes, right. It's e really equals big one. Equals one Thai size Yeah. Lobster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay, so try. Okay, so you first? You first. Me first. Yeah. Oh, okay, so. Ooh. Got, oh, I, I've got a chunk what is already. That? This yeah. is delicious. Mm. Oh, it smells very good. Mm. Mm. Worth it? It's worth it. Mm. And the cream or something? It's like a cream sauce, like that mm. delicious soup that we had at the beginning. Yeah. Just like a lobster bisque. Yeah. Right. Mm. Can you also taste the freshness from the lobster? Yes, mm. certainly. Fresh from the ocean, 
These lobsters were likely caught either today or yesterday. Newfoundland is an island in the maritime provinces of Canada, and they are known for lobster. So we are here at the place where they catch lobster every day. Mm. Mm. You could test it with us. Beauty, mm. we have finished our lovely lobster boil dinner. Did it meet your expectations? It was beyond my expectation. Beyond? Yes. Wow. So, are you full? Pretty much. Happy? Very much. Sleepy? Absolutely. That's what happens when you eat so much of a delicious meal. You just get sleepy. All right. Well, there's one more task ahead of us. No way. Yeah, we have to do something. What is that? It is... Eat chocolate cake. That is a tough task. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing we have to do before we can go home. Mm. Okay. Oh, it's got raspberry too. All right. Dig in. Dig in. But it's not so sweet. Mm. The like a dark chocolate. This kind of thing. And then when you eat together with the raspberry jam, mm. oh perfect, yeah. right? It's like fudge. Oh, this right. cake is like fudge. It's oh. thick and rich, as Yudi said, super, super rich. And the raspberry compote cuts that richness, makes it even more delicious. Mm -hmm. Don't take mine away. I wouldn't dream of it. This is the last dish on the lobster boil menu. Hope you enjoy it. If you have a chance, don't forget to come visit this restaurant. We have just completed our meal at the Mallard Cottage. Our bellies are full. Up to here. <laughs> <laughs> but look, what I'd like you to notice is how light it is outside. It's 7.20 p.m. now and it's still quite light out. So we actually spent about two hours in the restaurant? Over two hours. Oh, wow. We thought because they were seating us by time that they were going to put some pressure on us to make us leave early. Oh. And because Yudi eats slowly, we were a little bit worried, but no, we were able to eat at our leisure. Yeah, I could not even finish my last dish, the dessert. Mm. Oh. Ready to go home? Yeah, ready to go home. Let's roll.